everyone. Welcome, uh, welcome to this uh, Facebook uh, broadcast. Uh, um, information about the energy of this full moon in Aquarius uh, uh, that uh, we are going to experience tomorrow on 15th of August 2019. It's a big time, uh, a big time uh, for change. Uh, change is the main theme of this year and uh, of this period of time. We are in the Aquarian Age and in the Aquarian Age um, something new is, is going to happen, is, a, is, a, is the age of awakening to the true, to the true self, uh, to the soul. Um, what uh, I would like first before starting this uh, video, this, um, my comments about the moon, I would like to invite you to visit our website www.internationalinitiationschool.com When you open, uh, is a website of the school, when you open the website it will be in Italian but you in on top, on the right hand side you have uh, uh, the uh, possibility to click on English language so you will uh, have the possibility to get to know our school what we do and uh, I would also like to uh, inform you that uh, this year we will start uh, translating some courses in uh, uh, English and I'm planning to teach a numerology foundation course in English also soon uh, uh, if you visit uh, the our uh, calendar uh, you, you click on calendar you will see all this, this course is scheduled and you will also be informed when a course in English uh, is available. Uh, so, or you can also check with our office, uh, school office, uh, secretary at internationalinitiationschool.com. Here we are talking about the numerology and uh, uh, astrology um, moon, uh, energy of the moon or the full moon in Aquarius. Uh, as I said before, it's an intense time. The moon will happen at, on the 15th of August 8, 2019. In numerology, 15 uh, is, a, uh, in the, is the number, esoteric numerology. It's called the number of angel and de angel or devil. Uh, devil not in the sense of, uh, of a negative or something evil, but an energy of uh, that uh, divides us. It's the energy of our intellect, uh, constantly finding excuses not to follow the inner light, the angel that we are. So um, it's a number of alchemy, so we are asked to fuse together the two aspects of the self, the inner and the outer, in order to fully manifest uh, our true self in the uh, world. In esoteric numerology, 15 is also the number associated to Neptune. Neptune is uh, the uh, higher uh, um, the manifestation of the higher level of Venus, and Venus is uh, the planet Venus. Venus is a very important planet in this uh, numero um, astrology uh, configuration because uh, Venus. Uh, in this uh, uh, at this nation will be combust uh, uh, the energy of the sun it, uh, it, which means uh, that it is uh, exactly at the same degree of the sun 22 degrees leo so very strong energy fiery energy that we also have uh, um, a fire grand trine which is a quite a rare uh, configuration to happen so a lot of fire a lot of movement a lot of transformation pushing through uh, in the material life uh, so that the new can truly manifest this is also why i call this uh, uh, this uh, broadcast of focusing on the future because this is what we really have to do at this time 15 means a choice and the choice is about following our true self um, because one 15 is a um, is a karmic number in esoteric numerology uh, which means uh, uh, all numbers are karmic, but 15, uh, uh, the numbers with uh, one, 
um, the tens are all specific comic numbers because they uh, have the one uh, at the beginning which means the personality is very strong and so is a they are numbers of uh, strong alignment alignment in order to find the true self so the one is the personality the five is the higher mind the five is uh, uh, the energy of the soul and also it, the five in numerology represents a, a change of direction so it's a big movement happening uh, in uh, 15 is very important because uh, is um, three multiplied by five three is the divine the number of the divine perfection and five in the number of grace so is acting is talking telling us about something that uh, it acts uh, um, has been planned and set into movement by the energy of divine grace uh, it is about uh, in order to manifest uh, the resurrection the manifest manifest our soul the will of the soul 15 in the sacred uh, numerology is, is related to the 15, 15th day of the first month in the Hebrew tradition, but also the 15th day of the seventh month in the Hebrew tradition. The 15 days of the first month is the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, uh, and the 15 is uh, because the Unleavened Bread, bread uh, leaven or yeast, is associated to a pro, is the symbol of death. And decay. It's uh, uh, which symbolically represents the e the evil impulse within the self, within us. So eating and living bread means uh, getting rid of what, uh, in bracket, corrupts us within ourselves. Um, transforming uh, living is associated to death because uh, produces fermentation and uh, it is a, and it, and uh, as a consequence it's the result of a process of decay so uh, a living bread reminds us of the living when the jewish the the uh, jewish people left egypt leaving behind the past and remember in the previous uh, moon uh, forecast uh, i was mentioning about the process of uh, uh, leaving slavery behind slavery being slave to the old uh, way of being and also the 15th day of the seventh month is the feast of the tabern uh, tabernacles which is called in Hebrew sukkot uh, which commemorates the end of uh, the harvest but also the uh, the exodus and the dependence of the people of Israel uh, uh, on the will of God. So it's reminding us of the importance of trusting the inside, trusting the inner uh, light, trusting the inner voice, uh, and not trusting the brain, the, the brain, the intellect, because uh, uh, the intellect has to be used for the true aim, which is the total commitment to who we truly are. 15 is a 6, which is again in numerology the death of the old way of being, dying to the old, opening up to the new. And the 8 in numerology is the number associated to Saturn, self realization, self actualization, uh, is the number of divine justice, of alignment, alignment of the inner with the outer. And 68 in the Rosalma system is the number of uh, the bottle associated to Gabriel. Gabriel uh, talks about uh, the affirmation of Gabriel is, I finish what needs finishing uh, so that a new beginning is possible. So it's about uh, supporting the transformation process uh, to bring clarity about ideals, uh, and uh, um, it's talking about something new coming. Six and four, six and eight is a 14, which is about joining the conscious and the unconscious, uh, joining the soul and the personality for a, a process of change, transformation. And the 2019 is a 30, 20 plus one plus uh, nine is a 30, 33, 
um, 68, so 14, 5, 53 is the bottle associated to hilarion in the Osoma system, which is uh, the way, the truth, and the life. So only if we follow the way of the heart, we find the truth, we find uh, the heart, we, we find the light, we find the life, and we can really resurrect. 15 is the car, tarot card, esoteric tarot card of in the devil, not being um, living behind the slavery to the old, to the old patterns of behavior, and is solved, solve a coagula, which means dissolve and coagulates, dissolving the old and recreating the new. And then in the Orosoma system, 15 is the bottle called changing the new end, which is a putting the light on the violet. Violet is associated to Aquarius and the moon is in Aquarius. So is putting the light on violet, on our crown chakra, on the, our beliefs, uh, on our uh, attachment and illusion. This is Neptune, uh, self-deceit. Uh, and um, in order to trigger the process of metanoia, which is not just, just, just a change of thinking or a change of feeling, but it's a total change of being. This moon will be uh, at 22, uh, tw 22 degrees, 24 minutes and 19 seconds. Uh, 19, remember that when we look at the degree, astrological degree, degrees, we need to look at the energy moving from the back forward. So 19 is really the energy influencing the whole process of transformation. So 19 is a rebellious energy. We are in the year 2019. And this is also why at this point in time, we have all that um, changes, transformation, a rebellion, a fire moving through because uh, the universe is really pushing for a change. 22 is a 4, 24 is a 6, and 46 is a number of change, a big change moving through. Everything changes. And 46 is the change is so big where do we start so and then 46 is a 10 one so new beginning so it is really about 46 is the reconstructed life is a number of resurrection is the number of the holy spirit is the number of the second death is the number of the cleansing of our temple the sanctification of the temple and the temple is the body so um, it's really about not standing, sitting on the wall. 22 is the fool in the tarot, esoteric tarot card. Don't sit on the wall, but act and try it. And then uh, leave, uh, have the courage to leave for God, for who you truly are, for your divine inner self, to fulfill your true mission, your true purpose. Don't have fear. Fear is just a beginning of movement. So in 24 is a process of alchemical transformation through time and space. When we have a full moon, the sun is in uh, one sign and the moon is in the opposite sign. So the sun is in Leo, the moon is in Aquarius, the opposite sign. And then uh, uh, the Sabian symbol of the moon is a big bear sitting down and waving all its poles, which means that we have to really um, uh, go beyond the old impulses, the old uh, um, the old way of being, uh, training the bear, which means training the old way, and the trainer is the soul, is spirit. And then the seven symbol of the moon is in a circles, a bareback rider displays have dangerous skills, which is again taming the, the, the animal nature, taming the old way of thinking, and being virtuous, dominating the old nature. Um, referring to the fact that a new consciousness is rising beyond the commonplace. Uh, the sun in Leo, Leo rules the fifth house. 
And the fifth house is the house of romance, is the house of uh, the, the will, is the house of the self. Um, Leo rules the heart. So it's again, it's a big opening of the heart. Um, and uh, uh, it's also the way we relate ourselves to others. We need to really understand what we truly love. And this is why Venus is combust the sun. Uh, Venus is at, uh, uh, at 2245, which is leaving behind uh, what is um, really not tr truly part of ourselves. Venus talks about desire. So what do you truly desire? Do you have in front of you what you desired in the past? Is it truly what you are? Is it truly what you want? So because in this moon, uh, there is a strong energy uh, towards uh, finding instability, finding inner peace, which may be found only by listening to the inner voice. But there is also another another energy of relationship because the moon in Aquarius, Aquarius relates to friendship. So there is a big change in our friends, in the way we present ourselves to the world. So we will have old relationship coming back, the healing of all relationship or the creation of new ones. So it's a completely bleated transformation because both Leo and Aquarius um, uh, bring forth the energy of Ray 5. So in Ray 5 is a will to act in a sense of liberation. So the heart meridian, remember, is what the, the heart meridian, I mentioned it in the last video, uh, is about the emperor, so the heart, uh, what we truly want, uh, leaving behind unworthiness, and also Aquarius is related to the spleen meridian, which is uh, related to the lymphatic system, to um, the circulation um, of uh, the blood and the spleen is an, uh, is an amazing blood filter. It also produces the red blood cells. So um, the lymphatic system is a network of uh, organs and tissues which has the purpose of getting rid of the toxin, the waste and the unwanted material. So it's about purification, fighting infection. So remember the yeast, leaving behind what pollutes our uh, true being, being, bringing a new energy within. And when the, in fact, when the, um, the spring meridian works well, we feel trust, we experience trust, we experience a sense of inner honesty, a sense of spontaneity, openness, acceptance, uh, balance, impartiality. While when we are in the negative, the, the blood spleen doesn't work properly, we experience worries, uh, ex excessive um, thinking, uh, remorse, regret, self-doubt. So, we are asked to purify ourselves. And those of you who use our some system can really use the 15 bottle or even uh, more the, the 68, because 68, um, number 68 has come out many times in the last few moons. It came uh, in the moon of the 19th of April, in the moon of the 18th of May, in the moon of the 17th of, January, of June, and again this time. So, and finish what needs to be finished. Aquarius rules uh, Uranus, you rules uh, Jupiter, uh, is, sorry, Uranus is ruled by Uranus, um, by Jupiter and the Moon. Um, remember, it's about destiny. Uh, what we want to achieve in our destiny, what is about maximizing the self, is about bringing new possibilities, about the, our uh, uh, opportunities. And Uranus uh, the, is about 
joining together the past and the future, but by bringing a new quality of being. He is in Tor Uranus is in Taurus at this stage. So breaking the old, breaking the old structure. And Jupiter, which is very important at this time, is uh, in, in, a pro in a place uh, of 14 degrees Sagittarius. 14 degrees Sagittarius is a very important uh, degree because it's the degree where we have the great attractor. If you want to know about more about the great attractor, check uh, Philip, Phil, Philip Siegel website because he had done a very, very good study about uh, uh, the great attractor and um, the galactic center. The, the great attractor is, uh, it seems to be, it's still a mystery, but it seems to be a giant black hole in the heart of our Milky Way. And then the light bends around, it bends the light around it. So it represents the hologram of truth. It represents the crown chakra and it represents, uh, it tells us that we don't have any control on what what happens is about death and change and the new truth emerging and it is going to be a huge titanic sunk uh, the ship that nobody thought uh, would have uh, would have sunk is going to do it it's going to do it and it's a big big transformation remember aquarius is the um, associated to the uh, labor of Hercules, uh, the cleansing of the Aegean stable, so clearing everything. Life and love will bring a new energy through the water, uh, th uh, by using the water of life and love, uh, everything will be cleansed. I mentioned to you that we have a huge grand trine at this uh, uh, full moon is a fire grand trine which is a very rare trine and uh, fire means uh, action means energy means uh, uh, a big push uh, to a spontaneous act to manifest something and the planets that are going to be triggered uh, by this uh, uh, fire grand trine here are mercury uh, Chiron and Jupiter. Mercury is uh, about uh, is illuminating the mind. It's about acquiring a much wider perspective on what we are able to do or what we can do. Uh, Chiron is about healing, bringing together, um, sewing, mending what was broken because we really will feel a, a, a strong urge for inner stability. So we realize that what we leave doesn't give us stability. And Jupiter is about planning what is ahead. So the all energy is bringing a new perspective in order to reach uh, freedom, uh, going in peace, going beyond polarity. Venus is, I told you, is combustor. We have a big stellium, which means that the sun, Venus, uh, Juno, the goddess of marriage, uh, the asteroid related to my Mars, and Vulcan are conjunct, which means a strong energy together, bringing together this huge, huge, huge transformation. Venus returns to the same point, uh, same point of combustion every eight years. So, uh, what happened eight years ago? If you really uh, understand what actually happened. If she's burning something that she burnt uh, three uh, eight years ago, so because there is the burning of desire and Neptune, which is um, which has a, um, an aspect with Saturn fifteen Neptune Saturn eight, is going to trigger this huge 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 transformation because Nep Neptune talks about getting rid of the illusion, the mask, the form and giving birth to the true, uh, the, the Christ conscious uh, um, uh, that is the soul into our life. Giving, leaving behind old inspiration. is this, uh, Neptune destroys 
the boundaries between the physical and the spiritual and then supports us in receiving messages from other realms, from other levels of being. The moon is uh, the mother of the form and Neptune destroys the old form. Neptune is the heart of the spiritual sun, the Leo. So is um, is really bringing completely new energy to what we create. So then it's going to be a big, uh, big energy. We must have inner inner strength, a lot of inner strength and faith, because uh, we want uh, uh, to. It's time to prove our inner self. Work. It's time to really truly uh, fulfill our life responsibility and also in order to get rid of the old, it's time to accept our karma. So it's not really, import it's not really important whether it appears that we fail or we succeed. What is truly important is we follow, focus on the future, focus on the future focus on the love that is really truly moving uh, the scenes um, in the background uh, in order to lead you towards your true true self uh, towards the manifestation of your divine mission um, by the way before i leave because someone i have a few people following me from other countries foreign countries so should you need if you would like to have a, a consultation with me, no problem to have it on Skype. You can contact the school office by email secretary at internationalinitiationschool.com and there uh, you can book uh, and uh, your cons personal consultation or even your uh, uh, tailor-made uh, consultation to see what you really needed for a big transformation. If you want information about the tailor-made consultation, you can go on the website, click on Soul Facilitator, uh, and then see the tailor-made consultation. Uh, also, no, sorry, uh, the personal journey consultation www.international social school click on personal journey and then tailor-made consultation sorry i made a mistake uh, wishing you a lovely lovely full moon in aquarius and stay tuned listen to your inner voice and follow it with no 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 fear um, trust yourself trust your inner light have a wonderful day Bye-bye.